Santa kiss? George? Hello, Marlene's fellow sniffers. Today, I have hacked Marlene's YouTube. So you're gonna only see me, yours truly, Jenna McCohen. And today, I wanna talk to you about my relationship with each bird. Now, before I get into that, I wanna just say that the reason I hack Marlene's YouTube is because, as you all know, she's in Ireland, and my very, very smart sister decided to take all the footage that I could edit for her. Her going to Ireland, it was also kind of like a vacation. Why not? Let her relax. She probably will post some videos, maybe of Ireland, her everyday posts that she does, but I have no videos to edit. So I'm making my own. So in case I need to do another one, which I would love to do, I was thinking of the next one would be, why don't you guys leave comments or I mean, in the comment section, leave questions that you'd like to ask me and maybe I answer them. That could be a really fun video. I'd like to do that video. I know you guys have a lot of questions because Marlene also told me that you guys ask to have me on this show, which I really, really love and I really appreciate and I'm truly humbled by it. So if you guys do have questions for me, leave them below and hopefully I can make a different video of me answering them. So even if it's not next Sunday or this coming Tuesday, I definitely will do it another time when Marlene's back. So since this is my point of view, let's start from the beginning. I have lived with birds my entire life. And when I was born, we had Dooley. And Marlene probably has talked to you about Dooley, but if you ha don't know about Dooley, Dooley was a little yellow cockatiel that my dad got my sister. My relationship with Dooley was not really developed. Now I know not all birds are scared of kids, but in our experience, we've definitely come across birds that absolutely are like, what is this little human? I cannot handle it. Get it away from me. It's too hyper. Birds don't like that. I've noticed personally growing up with birds is that they like persistence, patience, and calmness. If you're loud, they'll be loud. If you're nervous, they're nervous. So as I got older, I definitely observed Dooley. We also had other birds. There was this other cockatiel that we had and I'm pretty sure his name was Frusky. I'm not sure. I don't know if I named him or I couldn't pronounce his name. I had a very difficult with speech. Um, and I remember continuously observing them. I probably was a little creepy to them. But I remember looking in the cage and being like, whoa, look at them eat or look at them make their little noises. And although I couldn't hold them like Marlene does and created the bond like they do, I really respected them. It was cool to just see this other type of creature. I don't know if Marlene has mentioned this before, but she definitely says that maybe I'm the dog person. And this is just because birds made a big impact in Marlene's life. Like she loved these pets. She knew right away, she's a bird whisperer. She, she knew right away like how to handle them. I don't know how old she was when she first got a bird, but I'm pretty sure she was 10. And at 10 years old, I was like not calm enough for birds. Even at 10, like Dooley was not having it with me. Not having it. No bird was having it with me at 10. I was just all over the place. So the pet that made an impact on my life was definitely a dog. So I'm known as the dog person, but I love all animals. So the first interaction I had with a bird and truly focused and took my time and like saw us get the bird and everything was Ty. And this was when we were lived in America. And so with Ty, I think I was about 14 and I was just able to observe and then react. So I definitely had bad moments with Ty. Ty definitely loves, at first what we thought loves males more. But now he's obsessed with my brother's girlfriend, Sio. Um, don't know how she got his love, but she did because Ty used to love Danny, my brother, like obsessed. They were inseparable. And Ty definitely was adjusting a little bit to moving with us because he had a previous owner who unfortunately couldn't take care of him. And it it was it was a progress to get Ty to trust us. At that time, Ty allowed me to learn how to get birds to trust you. And that's truly patience, persistence, and giving them their space and letting them come to you. Now with that information, um, when Marlene gets a new bird or when, I don't wanna say Marlene's bird, but when we get a new bird, or I, I like to use what I learned from Ty or even George. George, the African Grey was a big, 
big part of like that really allowed me to dig further because he's a very intelligent bird and he even needs his own little space and he and he you can tell like when he gives you a look that like no don't pick me up now or i don't trust you quite yet or what are you doing or if he does want a head scratch african grays are great in that so but we'll get to george in a second so when i moved to california and marlene had george picasso and jersey i was definitely a little hesitant in fact i was scared of jersey believe it or not i was i literally was scared she was gonna bite me or or she was going to randomly like cuddle me and then be scared and run away and i'd somehow by accident drop her or she saw something and she jumped i was so hesitant because ty was a very difficult bird and although ty is a lesser sulfur crested cockatoo and jersey's an umbrella cockatoo i still didn't understand how drastic of a personality each bird could have. As you all know, Jersey and I have a great relationship. Jersey's obsessed with me. And I think it's because when I first moved in with her, I have no bird. They're all chilling. They like literally, I mean, they're not really chilling. Cody's slightly freaking out. I don't know why he's on like a whole different level than the other two. You wanna come here? I need a bird in my video. And everyone keeps asking about you. Yeah. So when I first moved in with them, Jersey was the, one of the easiest bonds to make for me because she was very interested in me. She is not a biter, probably has never even bitten me at all. She does play hard to get sometimes with me, meaning like in the mornings when I wake up and then she wakes up, she doesn't want to necessarily come to me right away, but you can tell she wants to be next to me because she'll be antsy and want to try to see where I am all the time. Also, when I come to give her my hand, she's like, no, 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 no. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And she'll back up as if like I told her her sweatshirt today doesn't look good. And that takes about probably an hour, hour and a half, even two hours in the morning for her to like, I don't know. I don't even know what this means. I, I don't know why I think this is what's happening with her, but I swear it's like she wants to see me. She wants to know I'm here. She wants to be in the same room with me, but she won't necessarily step up to me. Now, this is kind of recent. This is definitely her personality coming out. You know what? Since I'm talking about Jersey, why don't we bring Jersey in? You want to do, come on, step up. See, she's doing that thing now because I'm here with a lot of birds. That's another thing. If she sees me interact with other birds, she gets very upset. She'll restart that whole, I'm mad at you and I'm playing hard to get thing. So she's definitely a jealous bird and she's specifically jealous if I, I feed another bird. Now I definitely can cuddle Jersey if anything were to happen, like meaning something scares her or you know, she's on a person and a person is like a little bit nervous. She'll come to me right away. I'd have to say, Jersey is one of the birds that trusts me the most. Uh, unless she's in her state of jealousy, then she, she'll she be like, um, excuse me, who are you? What's your name? Oh, no, 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 you can't pick me up. You paid attention to Vinny today. You know, I'd play, I'd chase her around the house, do the little hopping videos, I hide and she has to come find me. She's definitely a very fun bird to have. You know, she's a good bird to watch TV with, especially like after you feed her and she's comfortable and had some playtime. She's a good, good bird to study with and she's just overall not too scary she's a very predictable bird and you can tell when something upsets her or something bothers her and how she's going to react towards you that is a very good bond that i feel that i have with jersey and i think it's a very unique bond and i think that you know anyone to have a bond like jersey and i is lucky you definitely though need to have the patience. Patience is key to get from no bond or connection with your bird to a bond or a connection with your bird and persistence. Now that I'm talking about persistence and patience, this brings me into George again. Do not quite like me. George would definitely not step up to me at all. He was not a bird that was too interested in anyone but Marlene and that's not a bad thing. African greys bond with their mate or their owner better than they do with anyone else. They're kind of really monogamists in that way. 
So I had to take Cody downstairs and put him in the aviary because he's so antsy and he's flying everywhere in the aviary. He can fly, he can chew, he can explore and it's just so much better for him. I thought I really wanted him to be in the video with me because one, you guys have been asking for him all the time and second, because while I'm talking about my bond with him, I'd like to have him in the video. So my relationship with George definitely progressed. It progressed. At first, he wouldn't let me pick him up. And he was just like, who are you, human? Why are you even trying to talk to me? And slowly, slowly, I started giving him his favorite treats. Not to him, but like I'd put him in his bowl. And then once that happened and, and something made him fly or maybe, let's say, Jersey scared him and they were just kind of like not in good terms for that playtime and he flies I'd be like it's okay it's okay like I'll help you I'm here for you and he wouldn't step up at first but you can tell he wanted to come to me because he <laughs> was kind of a fatty so flying for him was very exhausting even one flight so this is a technique I have used. I show, I take a cloth and I put it around my hand and what usually George used to do, and Cody does this too, I actually do this with Cody too. I'm, I'm in the process of like getting rid of this already. So he would go to bite it and then the reaction of you not hesitating or not being scared, they're like, oh, they're not scared of me. Okay, so I'm just gonna step up. And so it shows that you have confidence because if you approach the situation confidently, they will be confident confident and feel more calm. So me coming like this, I'm not hesitating because if they do try to bite me, it doesn't hurt and I'm confident. And then they see me as a confident person and a person that wants to pick them up. So then after a while, I didn't even need this. And I don't know why I need this with African Grace, but I do. And I think it's a really good trick because again, confidence is everything with birds. And um, if you don't have confidence, they will sense that and be nervous. So after we got over that, I could pay, say, step up, George, come on. And he would step up no matter what. I never got nervous about it I was totally confident about it maybe he'd like you know pinch my thumb while you hold his little feet and he'd bite it and it wouldn't hurt but like it was just kind of like he's trying to like game us like I want Marlene I want Marlene and then after a while George could hang out next to me like if I were doing this video he'd probably be right here or on my shoulder and I wouldn't even bother he wouldn't he would trust me there's a trust it wasn't I couldn't pick him up and kiss him or massage I massage his head just a little but I couldn't like you know, like love on him like Marlene does. And now, because I'm talking about African Grace, let's go to Cody. Cody is similar to that. Um, Cody is though more hyper and more outgoing than George. Like definitely having him fly all over the place and needing to put him in the aviary, that's not how George was. George had maybe bursts of like five to 10 minutes of like, here's the highlighter. And he'd like choo 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 or or like he'd want he'd see a piece of wood or a piece of paper and like he'd just you know want to play but that would last five or ten minutes cody on the other hand a little bit of a handful he definitely is interested in everything flies to everything he's like what's this choo 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 what's that choo -choo. there's a drawer let's open the drawer what's in the drawer oh my god this is amazing and then like you're like okay he likes the drawer let me like put toys in it so like when you open the drawer he'll have toys and it's toys that he can chew nope he gets over that and then he's like oh my god let me eat the drawer and it's like this bird is so smart he's forever evolving and everything that like he wants to play with he gets bored of real quick and then he's like what's the next thing where can i fly to now where what who he's just hyper and so my bond with Cody is definitely much slower because he really doesn't trust me and it's also because I around the time we got him I was always with Joey so it's as if I was basically living out of the house and so I didn't get that time like I did with George where like every morning I'd wake up you know really give him juice and you know talk to George and be like George do you want some juice and he'd be like juice and he'd know Cody's a little bit more skittish than George. George was just like, I'm sorry, everyone's flying and freaking out. The world could end and George would just be like, where's my carrot? Where's my cheese? I want beans. So he was definitely more put together. Cody's very like, who made that noise? Oh my God, there's a toy over there. Oh my God, you're opening the drawer. Oh my God, you're making, you're making breakfast. What are you making? What's over there? What's on the stove? How does the stove work? How does this work? Oh my God, you're opening a door. Who's here? Like he's just seriously all over the place. And he's obsessed with Marlene. Like anywhere Marlene goes, even if Marlene's like, okay, 
stay here. I'm going to cook right here. He's like, what are you cooking? And then lands on your head or lands on, on her shoulder, I mean. It's just, Cody's a handful. He is, actually. You wouldn't think so because... Marlene's just so used to it. Marlene's again is a bird whisperer. So like to her his behavior is just like just adorable and she can handle it and it's no big deal. And the only reason it's hard for me is because again, I need to build that bond with him and I need to make make him trust me because even if he doesn't necessarily love me or want to hang out with me or want me to scratch his head in a situation when now I'm babysitting, I need to know if there was like, you know, any sort of natural disaster or maybe he's not feeling well and I need to take him to the vet, God forbid, or I, we randomly need to move. I don't know. I need the bird to know and I need to feel confident in myself that like I can at least pick him up safely and put him in a travel cage or I can pick him up and take him to a location that he needs to be. Especially if like little things, like maybe he right now was flying around and he was flew on a uh, flew on something and make sure he's not going to ruin anything. That kind of stuff is very important for me with all the birds that, that you know that we have because I just want to make sure I can be the best bird parent or babysitter that I can be. Definitely Cody I'm still working on. This four or five days alone without George Halali is good because now like I said I use this technique on Cody. I need it sometimes when he knows he did something bad. He's like no I don't. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I chewed the box that's on the counter and like, you know, he gets all weird. I'll have to use this. But then if I'm like, Cody, do you want to come upstairs? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to hang out? Do you want food? He'll step up to me in that way. So that's pretty awesome. I'm definitely glad. And I got that only like from yesterday and today. And that's, to me, that's a success. And I'm very excited to see where my relationship goes with, Co with Cody. Because Marlene does this thing where she'll grab him and kiss him and like, I'm dying to do that. Oh, actually, I did Jersey and I didn't do Picasso. How crazy. Picasso's awake now. Can you step up? You want to step up? Let's talk about Picasso. Now, you guys know that Picasso is one good bird. And he definitely is one of my favorite bombs that I have. Now, he's just an angel. He's good with kids. And even if he's not necessarily happy with being around them or something bothers him, his little beak, he'll just kind of warn you. He'll give you like a little limber, like, no, 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 I don't want to step up. No, 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 I don't want to do this. And I respect that because that's his way of saying like, no. And then at the same time, it's not harming another person. And he's so gentle and he's so playful. I love watching him play with his toys and how he's so interested in like my homework. I'm not joking. So let's pretend he starts getting interested in my homework or my laptop keys. And then I'm like, nope, nope, we can't do that. And I give him a different toy to play with. And he'll play with that other toy. And I, it maybe takes a little enticing a little bit or I need to find a different toy for him to play other than my homework or my laptop, but I can get there with him. He is a sniffer. Like you could watch TV with him and then just look over and sniff him. I could do homework and look over and sniff him. And he relaxes and he feels your energy. Right now, I think the reason he's playing a lot, he was sleeping two minutes ago. And I think the reason he's playing is because he sees me like trying to make this video or Cody was flying around and I had to go up and down. So I think he, he got my energy and now he's like, okay, I need, to, I need to eat, I need to play, I need to chew, I need to shred. And I love that about him. Uh, I love kissing him. I love how he flies. I love how he tells you what he wants and he'll scream at you. He'll be like, hey, I'm over here, or oh my God, I see a carrot, bring me over here a carrot. You guys also know that I love Conyers. He's kind of like Conyers size. I don't know why I love the small little ones. I think cause like they have so much personality. All birds have a big personality. It's just Conyers, you think to yourself like, they're so tiny and they have this personality of a macaw. And you're like, how is this possible? Like they're just this cute little thing. And I love how Picasso, like he's so little and you can have him on your shoulder and you'll even forget he's there and he makes himself comfortable. And if he needs to go to the restroom, he'll fly to his stand or his cage and you know, poop at his cage. He's just a very well-rounded bird. <laughs> He went to a good school. He had good parents that loved each other. And he traveled a lot. You can't like not love Picasso. He's definitely the type of bird that I would recommend other people to have, especially as a first bird. Type of bird that like, you know, I want to low key steal and take home with me. Jersey and Picasso are definitely one of the top bonds that I have with the birds. We have Leo. You want to talk about Leo? Come here. Can you step up? 
is one of the newest bonds I have because he's the, you know the newest bird. Leo is just an amazing bird. Picasso's like this as well too. But if you didn't know anything about birds and then you met Leo or Picasso, you'd be like, oh my God, I want a bird too. Now Jersey wants to come to me because I'm holding Leo. You would want this type of personality because he just relaxes, he feels your energy, he's to himself, he likes playing, but then also he loves eating. Oh, I don't know why. I love birds that play and eat. I love those two things. Well, actually, he's not very much into toys. He'll be a little bit, but Picasso definitely loves toys and it's just so entertaining watching him play with toys. And he may not be big on toys, but he's definitely big on relaxing and getting love from you. That's another thing. Picasso does not like being pet. You can't pet Picasso like you can with Leo. You can just smell Picasso and kiss his back kind of situation. But as far as Leo, like you can pet him. He's very gentle with his beak. He's good with children. And that's definitely a good sign because if I were to have kids and I had Leo, it would definitely be the type of bird that I can teach my kids about how to handle birds, what different types of personalities and how birds can be in a positive light because sometimes birds are not in the best light for kids. Like I mentioned before, they're, they're very nervous around children or they can be, not every bird is. Like obviously Leo's not scared of babies. So right now, you know, Leo is getting up there with Jersey and Picasso because look at this. As you guys know, his owner passed away and that's why he was at Birds Plus. So I kind of have a feeling the reason he's very relaxed is because he's a little bit older. And when I say a little bit older, I have a feeling he's like 30 something. And I, I see birds as kind of like, you know, they live as long as we do, maybe a little bit shorter. But I feel like, you know, when we go through our kindergarten stage and like, we're like the crazy twos or, you know, when you're a teen and you're like, no, leave me alone mom I don't want to be next to you I swear birds are like that I swear Jersey's going through that right now so I think as she gets older she'll relax and I think he's a little bit older because like he already knows what he wants oh, oh. I'm so glad he came into our life because when we first thought about it I was like are you crazy a sixth bird I was like oh my god I don't know how this is gonna go I'm glad it's going so well because He's definitely the type of bird, like as Marlene said, if there was any sixth bird, this is the perfect sixth bird. I feel like I'm in, I say I'm in love with every bird. So I have my last two birds is Rocky and Vinny. So let's start with Vinny. Now Vinny we did get a while back. Vinny has a love-hate relationship with me. Again, I got it to the point where he'll step up to me in case of any sort of thing, like he's in an area he's not supposed to be or we're moving and I need to help out or God forbid there's a, you know, a natural disaster and I need to kind of help out. I have that trust with him. He'll definitely come to me. But Vinny gets jealous. So like if Marlene's next to Vinny's box, Marlene's probably fine. If George and I are next to his box, we need to run. So it's not that I have a bad relationship with Vinny. He just again trusts Marlene more like Cody and George did. And that's normal because Marlene really takes her time with each bird. And uh, just to add, Cody and George have a good relationship as well. He also steps up to him. They can cuddle and they can do all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure if I like lived here and really took my time with Cody, I'll end up, I'll be able to cuddle him as well. Even Marlene put him on me while he's sleeping and I've cuddled him before. I just, I'm not always here. And again, persistence is key. Persistence, persistence, persistence. With Vinny, he sees me in a good light and I see him in a good light. We dance together. We, I give him a lot of boxes. I make sure he has his own little area of treats. I make sure he plays a lot. And I, I don't know if I mentioned dancing, but dancing is very important because he loves, 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 loves dancing and I love dancing with Vinny. I love the arguments, oh, that he can talk. It's so cute. You literally feels like you're having a conversation with a bird. I like doing that with him. And I like, I call him like, hi, tweet, tweet. And he'll do, he'll go tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, it's so cute. It's in the morning, I'm like, hi, Vinny, and he'll raise his little hand. And he'll be like, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, good morning. How's your morning going? And then he'll put his paw down. And I'm like, oh yeah, did Jersey do something? 
Anyway, I'm getting carried away. I love that he loves boxes. I don't know why I love that. I think it's adorable. I, I, I guess it ties into the whole I like birds that like playing with toys and it just brings me joy. It makes me feel like they're learning or they're working their beak and they're not bored and I just like it. I, it just makes me feel good as a bird mom. That bird's adorable and he smells so good. His sniffs are so good. You see, I can't do that. Vinny is not a bird that like likes head scratches or like, you know, I pet him in the mornings when I go in there and I'm like, you wanna step up? Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. If he doesn't, I like pet him. Cause then it's like, it's okay, you didn't step up to me. We are acknowledged that like, you don't wanna step up, but he doesn't really like it. He's like, eh, what are you doing? So I definitely have a positive relationship with Vinny. It's very fun. Now that I'm babysitting, if something were to scare him and he's flying around like the dog, if the dog starts scaring him, him and he flies and he lands on me I'll be his trust person and I wish I could kiss him but I know he's gonna trick me if I try to kiss him he's gonna bite these lips he has an obsession with these lips they've been bitten before another reason I think he doesn't trust me as much is because I have the dogs follow me consistently and Vinny's very nervous around dogs and so that makes him be like I don't want to be next to Jenna like she has too many dogs around her that's my relationship with Vinny and because I'm talking about the dog thing, that brings me to Rocky. When we first got Rocky, he actually was attached to me. My energy was like, I was so in love with him. I thought he was beautiful. He smelt like a god. Like macaw smell is just a whole other level. Like I love Vinny's and I love Picasso's, but like Rocky's is just, that's an addiction. I, I swear, it's not just the breath, it's the feather. It's just amazing. So like you could be next to him, like by the cave, and you'll just, so oh good, I swear. So when we first got him, I was determined to make this bird love me. At the beginning, it was working, and he would take my hand, he would go like this to it, he would puke on me, and I was in love, and he'd let me give him head scratches. Oh my God, guys, I was in love love i was like that's it this bird is mine he's like only a year younger than me we'll live together forever he's gonna be my bird that's it i'm stealing him i'm so glad we rescued him i'm so glad he loves me and all that jazz but then he realized that the dogs sleep with me and he realized that i will go outside while he's outside and i'll play fetch with the dogs or i'll take him for a walk or you know i'll play with him on the ground rocky didn't like it he felt that i love the dogs more than him, which I don't. It's just completely two different loves. As we know, birds are so unique. They're not a regular pet. It's a different bond. I broke his trust and he just didn't like that I like dogs, I guess. And he just slowly, slowly started getting away from me. And he would start nipping me and biting me. Another thing is, I did have a doggy crate for Harry outside. And when we would take Rocky outside, um, this crate was kind of next to his cage. And so when Harry was in trouble, I put Harry in it. But when Harry wasn't in it and Rocky was outside or next to it, he would go inside it. So I think Rocky also made the connection of like, she loves the dogs more, she's giving him the crate that I love. And like, it just didn't work between us, you know? So we had to break up. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> and I'm so jealous of George and Rocky's bond. I'm so jealous. I don't know when exactly like Rocky and George created their bond, but till this day I'm jealous. He could be here and Rocky will lift up his beak and George will like kiss it and like he'll just keep asking for kisses. Guys, it's adorable. I wish I had that with Rocky. Ooh. I want to squeeze and love and massage and smell Rocky so bad. I don't think you guys are aware of how much it kills me. But if we were in a certain situation where he wasn't in a location he wanted to be, or if he, you know, we need to move and I need to handle him, Rocky trusts me in that way. He one time flew away. I was freaking out. We were all freaking out and I was babysitting him, of course. So he flew away, a cat scared him or something and he flew and I like had no idea. And then all of a sudden I'm like, where's Rocky? And then cut to, I'm running around the neighborhood calling Marlene. She's going on the next door app trying to see if anyone found a bird. Oh, thank God in the next app someone saw a bird. I went to go get him. They had him in like this really big dog cage and it was really awesome for him because they were trying to find the owner. They were really good about it. And then like brought him out in this big cage. And they're like, so we're gonna like walk to your house or we'll put him in the car. And I was like, no, 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 you keep your cage. You don't need to do this. 
I'm gonna pick them up. And they were like, what are you talking about? And I was like, I'm gonna go pick them up. And they didn't understand. That concept to them was like, we try to pick him up and he bites. And I was like, I know he usually bites me, but believe me, he's so nervous right now that like, I'm a familiar face, he's going to step up. And I put my hand in, he was like, oh, oh. and he like stepped up to me and they were in shock. They were a little bit nervous that like, I may have like tried to steal him and say he's my bird. Like they even were like, what are his coloring? What distinct mark is on his face that would make us believe that he's your bird and like I was like oh he has a teardrop mark on his beak and it's a light black color and they were like oh okay yeah he's your bird it was so funny so then me picking him up and going right in the cage and picking him up that was even more of a confirmation because he truly trusts me so I had him in the car and Rocky was just like so happy to be next to me and recognize me and like feel safe that I could pet him wherever she wanted and I was in heaven for those 10 minutes and I was like Joey listen to me you may not be necessarily necessarily a big bird person but to touch and pet this bird right now it would be one in a million I need you to pet him and he did he pet him and he got that good head scratch you could tell Joey was so amazed with like what he felt like what he smelt like how he's doing this how Rocky is enjoying it at the end of the day Rocky truly does trust me So I guess I'd have to say my top birds that I have trust with is Jersey, Picasso, and Leo. And three out of six is not bad. Um, and then probably Cody comes after that, Vinny, and Rocky. Yeah, so that's a recap of my relationship. So if you did like this video, let me know. And if you are new to this channel, I'm usually not the face of this channel. Usually it's my sister Marlene McCohen. Oh, and we're gonna pretend this M stands for McCohen and not Marlene because I'm here today. Oh, 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 before I go, I wanted to add that a lot of you guys are adding me on Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat as much anymore. I think the best way for me to communicate with you guys is Instagram, and my Instagram is at Jenna Sarah. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this edition of Jenna Hacking Marlene's YouTube and hashtag my point of view. I hope you guys like this video subscribe to my sister because she is amazing and if you want a bird and are thinking of getting a bird any sort of anything with birds please like below and subscribe love you guys bye so i'd like to add that now that i'm done with the video she wants to cuddle with me see i told you she plays hard to get i don't know if she's jealous that i was holding Leo before and Picasso or like videoing myself, but now here she is cuddling with me. Playing hard to get. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, one of the best kisses ever.